against a fearsome opponent here. We'll have to see between these two which one can take home the crown. And uh, one of the things that Tony's really good at is controlling disadvantage. Like, I think that's one of my favorite things about watching him play Ness, period, is that he doesn't do the super obvious stuff sometimes when you're trying to land, and it makes you go, huh? Why aren't you chasing Definitely. me with these falling up airs? And then he just racks on so much free damage, especially against a big body like Rob. And already getting just like that little empty grab right there. You saw that 8 Man was shaking in his boots. He did not want to get out of shield, terrified of what was coming next at the end of that string. Tries to get the back here, but the second one swings. He basically sat right in front of Edge to allow 8 Man to thinking he could get up for free with that get-up attack. 100%. Really he did, you, that's a really good movement bait, because you can run up back and forth, make them think that you have a free attack at that, or what does Ness usually do there? Start charging uh, down smash, right? But what a great answer from 8 Man, taking no damage at all, finding that back air. And then the hit top interrupting that little string attempt from Tony. Great trap right there from Ape Man. Manages to catch the jump, but that air dodge by Ness is so good. Takes him off with the back throw again and cannot get back with these aggressive aerials. Has to recover low. We're going to get the spike now a little bit too early. That was a good delay on Tony, but that's only going to matter. So that's only going to happen so many times. You get that first stall, and then you have to mix up your timing after that because that down air will cover you, but it's on Ape Man to make sure he finds the right timing. That was a great conversion by Ape Man, though. He did not have a jump. So somehow found a safe landing, though. The gyro combos are always sick from 8 Man. I'm really interested to see what Tony Pajamas can do with that, too, because Ness's item gameplay a little bit underrated, given how floaty he is. A little bit, yeah, but he can convert so much off of that. And this is what I was talking about before. Mono was saying that he likes to go for and more unorthodox options. You would expect a forward air there. You would expect maybe a back air. But he uses so many PK Thunders to catch dodges and catch the slip and rack up that damage. He doesn't want to stale those options right now, as he's almost brought this game back to even. Rob forced to recover low. We're gonna, again, he's not going for the down smash. Instead, it looked like he was trying to go for a down air. But there, waiting for the standard get up, getting the spot dodge right away. Ape Man choosing two defensive options. You know what's so good about that, Scabs? What did he do on that first stock? He conditioned him to think he could get away with a free get up attack, right? Yep. He punished him for that. While standing directly on ledge in get up attack range, Ape Man neutral got up because he was afraid of the idea he might get punished for it again and got a free down smash. Yep, the first interaction sets up the second and it ends up with the pajamas having a solid lead right here. I see how long he can keep that stock. Not going to get any clip with that down. So Jimmy back air. Kind of hard. Parry, but can't get the punish with that back air either. It, like, well, it's so difficult to keep like this damage lead when you're playing up against Ness. Oh, yeah. uh, Scabs, what is it that like you think that Ape Man, what, what he did in that first stock, that he needs to do to replicate, because he's not that far off from uh, finding a knockout here, but what is he going to need to do to get that damage back to even quickly? It feels like he's doing a lot of air to airs and against Ness with those disjointed hitboxes, it's so difficult. He does get the up throw, but right now he's got the top in his hands, and this is when Rob is at his most dangerous. Got to go ahead and get one of those Z-drop combos for big damage right here, and he's already aiming for it. Oh, and if you sniped out to jump on Ness, well, you just get to go into Nair City, and he's doing exactly that right now. You were right. He is going for a lot of aerial traits, but he just gave away so much health. Tony reading that laser and getting so much off of that side magnet. And already Tony hunting with these back airs. He is aiming for the kill immediately. Aggressive option all of a sudden trying to get him between that gyro, but the aggressive uh, aerial out of disadvantage from Tony. Again, just not allowing Ape Man to pin him to the corner. I like that Nair, too, because what, what do you lose there? You, you, you separate. That's it. Nothing That's bad happens when you're taking that damage. But everything can start to get bad if you do not get away from being in between those gyros. PK Flash forcing them to go low. PK Fire to try and catch the aggressive recovery off the ledge, which he did do. It was just off timing. So now this is a re-grab right here. Pajamas has the opportunity to make something happen, but great full hop away by 8-Bit Man. Just does not want to get pinned in one place. Feels like he needs to use the mobility, but the dash attack barely clipping a max range from Tony Pajamas. What a great job spacing that out. Exactly. Perfectly spaced. Caught him at the very edge of that 8-Bit Man. Definitely trying to like shake out their nerves right now. It, that, was a, that was a close game. Like That was one that was absolutely winnable for 8-Bit Man. He did not have... Like, it, it, it wasn't something that was, like, he took a lot of damage, right? He True. was behind, but he kept himself in it the whole time. I think the biggest thing is that where he expected Tony to try and go for, like, aerial trades off of fairs, he was getting hit in different ways, which made him think, oh, I have to beat those uh, those uh, PK Thunders by fairing now myself. And then he was getting hit by it by going underneath him with his own up air. Ness was navigating around it, and I think that's what was so good about Tony PJ's advantage over Ape. He has to be a little bit more careful while trying to find those landings. Even though you want that Nair, it's not always the right option. And I think that the, the gyro could really come into play here, too. That projectile is something that Ness has a little bit of trouble interacting with. You have to either toss out a long-lasting aerial to try to clank with it, or you have to get the Z-catch. And if you are not on point with that Z-catch and an air dodge comes out, well, that's a free punish for Ape Man. Yeah, how many times did we see? Actually, he got so much damage while Tony was in the air throwing the gyro up at him because Tony wasn't ready. He can mix up quite a lot with that. But now we're here with uh, Small Battlefield. It's a little bit less room he's got to work to, like, regain Nooch because I think that Tony was 
uh, like doing a really good job of resetting to center stage. Now it's not as easy because you have slightly less room to work with, and Ape Man is showcasing that right now. Also, Pajamas is doing a really interesting option out of disadvantage. He is swinging significantly more often than you'd expect from Ness. He's yeah. not really utilizing that, that air dodge as much. Instead, he wants to throw hands the second he gets out of hit stun. I think the biggest reason why is like, is this worth taking a trade? Like, I, I, if I trade here, we're separated. But the coverage from Tony, that's a lot of booster jet fuel used. So he's going to force the air dodge out, but he doesn't get anything out. He's covered jump twice now. Ape Man getting a little bit scared to go for that jump. That means he's going to be able to find that down smash, or off, smash at the ledge pretty soon. Back air not going to connect immediately, running forward with the dash attack, and then also threatening with the back air of his own. Pajamas gets buried. Is he going to get the up air? He does, but the DI not quite enough to save him from that one. I wonder if even with that good DI, like that was high percent, right? Well, I think that DI was pretty solid. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was It was solid, but he went like so up. And uh, yes, Tony has him at least at back throw percents, but that's what Ape Man knows he wants. Anyway, just box him out with that detail. Not going to let you grab me. Up tilt into up air, the B and B for Robin. Look at the damage charge to oh rack up the air dodges God. out, and yeah, there's just so much lag when you have to commit to that. Not gonna get the neutral air or the forward air. Great discipline from Pajamas sitting in shield, sitting with the air dodge at edge. Doesn't want to go ahead and jump into Robin's big hitbox. That was really good reactive DI to that dash attack that time too. I think the first time he wasn't prepared because Tony snagged the gyro and kind of caught him slipping. He didn't fall for it again that time. How does Ape Man actually get up? Again, the aggressive fair catching out as soon as Pajamas decided to jump with that back air. And now Tony just trying to go down. Oh, good tech this time. He was he ended up moving it previously, but committing to the down smash, expecting the very aggressive option. I don't know if down smash was the right call in general there because it doesn't really cover the landing off the platform. Agreed. Yeah, you're basically predicting that Pajama's gonna like drop down trying to get a grab. That's the only thing. Oh, really maybe, maybe. Because actually, no, that's a good. That, that actually makes some sense because the most obvious thing right there is that's to swing throw. from the platform. Yep. So you expect that they're, they're going to be holding shield to get that grab. But Tony's seeing through with that patience. But Ape Man with a comfortable lead now in quite a spot. And I already, I already hear the few Florida players <laughs> starting to get loud. I oh, oh no! not like this, Tony. Unfortunate to see the PK Thunder clipping through that stage, immediately eliminating his chance to make it back. So Ape Man. It's like you said, Ajax, a comfortable lead right there. And then that unforced error right there by Tony gives him the games you win. Exactly. And like for, for Tony, um, you just got to make sure you put that in your back pocket. Like don't let that bother you. Because if you let that get to you, that same lead that Ape Man had in that game two is going to replicate. And we have known throughout the years, Ape Man is a passionate individual. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he I mean, he doesn't go for the, like, ultimate super rage up stuff he did anymore no. to try and intimidate you, but he wears his heart on his sleeves. You can see it. And, like, the entire body language shows you how into it he is. And when he is riding with a lot of confidence, his advantage goes through the roof. And this is a really good counter pick here for Ness because you have the minimal amount of time it's going to take to get that lead trap, which is what he was winning on mostly before. But also on this stage, really the problem is that if Ape Man gets up a full head of steam, and it actually could turn out to be devastating for Tony because Ape Man true. can go ahead and abuse it just as well. Tossing the gyro off stage, but then did not turn around for the back air. Small tech book for Ape Man, and Tony trying to take it to the house, but not going to work out. Yeah, I think in general, a lot of their stages are like very similar to what they both want. Uh, I think the only few that don't. Oh, that... The gyro Good slowed job, down no. the thunder. Thank goodness Ape Man knows better, because if you ran up on that, that hitbox extension from yep. that PK rocket still would have hit you. Exactly. Down tilt to force him low, but that Ness air dodge is just such a useful tool at a disadvantage. Very lucky that he did not get timed on that back air on neutral getup. Like, that was 100% a read on Ape Man. He had the correct read. Down throw into up air will maybe do it now. No, Good no, DI. No, no. Phenomenal DI from that time from Pajamas. Now, how does he actually get down? Has to expend the neutral air dodge into the upbeat. Not going to get the spike. The Ape Man 0 for 2 with that so far, but the aggressive jump off of edge. Gyro is down. What trick are we going to get? Into the down smash. No, he goes a little bit farther. The floatiness of Ness. He went so quick. And the damage was so high that Ape Man wasn't quick enough to the trigger. That's usually a guaranteed setup. But Gyro did not use his jump. However, he was trying to save his jump. He had Gyro in hand, and he caught him slipping by going for the laser instead. By answering right back is Tony. Did, did he just combo weak hit back air into strong hit back air? Like, that looked true on a big body like that. Don't question it, man. Like, they find their ways. They yeah, like, like, <laughs> everything's a combo if you believe, Ajax. True. Hey, your buttons are always plus if you believe hard enough. Frame data's a lie. Facts. Actually, we don't need frame data. We play with feeling. Let's go, punk. All right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wait. That's your double jump. He trades up with the gyro, though. Now, however, oh, he wanted to bounce. He wanted to bounce off the stage so he can avoid the timing on down air. And that's going to give Ape Man a large lead. 
One thing that I want to, like, I want to say a lot of Robs need to start doing this. AB Man is so good when his opponent's on the Angel platform. He does the Gyro Toss, tosses it up, then puts himself at edge. So he has, like, a falling wall that's eventually going to interrupt what his opponent's going to try to do while they're getting out of, of uh, in bolt space. That's, that's an so underrated smart. skill. Like, yeah. if you know how to avoid people rushing you down freely off Angel platform invincibility, that's usually a way that people just kind of get themselves back in the game. Agreed. But instead, you take away what could be a free, like, neutral win for them and just take the time away. And now, Tony just begging to get one of those neutral wins right now. He cannot find his way back on the stage. Oh, I love the weight right there from 8-Bit. Not quite paying out. Good PK fire from Tony instead. And that gyro is, again, it just feels like whenever he's able to use that to pin Tony to edge, it just it's so hard for Ness to get back to center stage. That platform is just so good for Rob to shark under. And now pretty much you have to go for it straight up time. He got us away, but instant reactive DI. But <laughs> man launched out that seat, stood up, feeling way better about that one. Tony had a really solid first game. I think the thing is that Ape Man wasn't really respecting a lot of the landing options. Like, he was getting caught by a lot of PK Thunders on